We're hours away now from the second Republican primary debate. Seven candidates will take to the stage at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library looking for a breakthrough moment that can shake up this race. Let's bring in Charles Payne now, host of Making Money on FBN. Charles, great to have you here. It's great to be here. Well, we know this is a huge debate because there will be a focus on the economy. Right. And right, that could be happening no matter where the debate was because the economy is the number one concern for voters. Latest FNC polling shows the economic concerns of the American voter right now. It is still those sky high prices. Inflation number one. 91% say that they are extremely or very concerned about that. Uh, the cost of housing, 79%. Uh, being able to pay their bill, 74%. People are feeling this, and they want to know where these candidates stand on this. Give us your top-line thoughts on tonight. So let's uh, first start with, with, with inflation, right? I think this is the best opportunity for these candidates to connect the dots between Bidenomics and inflation. I don't think they really did that in the first debate. You know, this whole slogan, what is Bidenomics? Well, this is how... Listen, this theory that somehow big government can do it all, including pay your bills, by, wa by pouring trillions of dollars into the economy, it's like going to a party. It felt great. The beers are flowing. It was fantastic. But this hangover is long-lasting, and it's painful, and we don't ever want to go through it again. It's like everyone's been there, right? So I, first, like, how do we make sure we never have to go through a, a, an inflationary period? But by the way, economists have thought we would never – I mean, it's been 40 years. Yeah. So we never really had to go through. We're going through artificial pain right now as a political experiment to rechange the, the, the nation. Secondly, on the housing part, mm -hmm. if you look at housing, all all sizes of housing, they're, they're not just they're not making homes affordable homes. Mm -hmm. Now, there's not a lot you can do about the interest rate part of it, but the regulatory part of it. And I speak to Bill Pulte sometimes and others in the housing industry. Mm -hmm. Regulations are destroying that business. Just too enacted many Enacted under this administration? A, a lot of them have been act, enacted under this administration, but a lot of them are in, in blue states, uh, you know, so, but generally across the country, they're just too high. You just have far too many regulations, and by the time the home is built, it's going to be a five hundred thousand. I mean, as house. we head into this, the average home price in this country right now over four hundred thousand dollars. We've never been there before. You've got mortgage rates hitting the highest level they've been in nearly twenty-three years. Right. Data this morning showing the demand for mortgages is shrinking. Here is what people are saying about the economy. I know you've got your ear to the ground, Charles. This is a sampling. I'm concerned in a few years when I'm ready to retire that we're going to have an economy that would allow me to, or am I supposed to work until I'm 70, 80 years old? We're paying too much for everything, energy, food, everything. It's really inconvenient that things are becoming more expensive. It's hard to move out the house. My grandfather asked me every other week, when are you moving out? When are you moving out? I'm just like, do you see how much apartments cost? I mean, that's really, yeah. really telling, and especially yeah. that first answer from that woman who said, I don't know how long I'm going to have to work to pay for all of this. And you look at the, the polling on Americans' financial situations, and it has drastically flipped from where we were in August of 2021 to now. Those that say their personal financial situation is excellent or good has fallen to 37%. Just a couple years ago, yeah. it was at 63%. I mean, you've got a drastic change in how people feel about their current situation. That shock poll, that poll that shocked everyone over the weekend, the ABC Washington Post poll that uh, gave President Trump, uh, former President Trump, a 10-point lead over Biden. Mm -hmm. The key issue there was finance. Financial, just absolutely everybody. And it's interesting, those interviews were fun, for interesting. And, and uh, you know, the older society worried about their retirement. And the younger part of our nation wonder how they're going to get on with life. Yep. How do you move out of grandpa's house? How do you marry? How do you have children? How do you seize the American dream? So we've got both ends of the spectrum fearful of where, they're, where this economy is going to be. And that's not a good place to be right now. And that's a good opportunity for those candidates Amazing on the stage to explain Amazing. away their pitches. And it's got to be more economy. than drill, baby, drill. Oh, okay. Well, because I, as you say that, oil is <laughs> topping $90 a barrel. <laughs> gas prices are at $3.83. But Still it's got to be more than drill. We know drill, baby, drill. We got that check. Let's go a little deeper because, you know what, let's answer those ladies' questions. The older woman worried about retirement and the young lady wanted to get on with her life. Such a great point. So great to have you, Charles. Thanks Thank you lot. so much. All right, don't miss the second Republican debate tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern time on Fox Business and also simulcast right here on the Fox News channel. It will be moderated by Dana Perino, Stuart Varney, and Univision's Ilya Calderon. I'll be joining Jesse Waters tonight to kick off coverage oh, on the Fox News channel. Cool. I'll also be over on FBN kicking off coverage there as well. So tune in.
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.